we are back on fish -itis. I'm really excited today. I got a few hours before it gets dark. I'm out on a local lake in northern Michigan. If you like bass fishing, come along with me today. We're going to have a lot of fun. I know there's a bunch in here. There's big small mouths, nice large mouths. We'll go for anything that bites really, but bass fishing in this lake I know has been good in the past, so let's get at it. I'm pumped. Probably gonna have to hit a little deeper water today, guys. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Make sure this drops off out of here, though. Haha, -ha, just had a big smallmouth fall of this end. Just had a smallmouth fall of my crank in. Just got done saying that, and there we go, guys. There's a fish. Oh, wow. Hit the fat wrap. About time. Oh, feels like a decent one too. Man, did he smack that hard? Of course, I got this fire line on here, so they all feel big. Oh, is he, I think it is a pretty good. That's a pretty good smallmouth. All right. Okay. Mark that spot there. Hit the old fat wrap. All right. <laughs> All right. I like that. I like catching small mouths. I really like catching small mouths. It's fun. All right. <laughs> well, the old trusty, the Rapala Fat Wrap. And a gold color. And that's a decent sized bass. We'll take it. This is just a wood lined area right here, loaded with bass. A little too deep for the fat wrap here. So we're gonna keep flipping the tube out here for now. There he is. That's a little guy. I think. Well, he's coming toward me, so who knows? Ah, it is a little guy. <laughs> I know I was getting bites out there. The little spunky one. Wow. A little small mouth. Whoa! Spunky fish. I can actually boat flip that fish. I use, so you guys know, you'll see me fishing, you know. I use light lines and in small or medium action rods, reels. That's a small fish, but you know, even these ones pull hard on those things. It takes me a while to get them in. I don't like to boat flip fish too much. I can't boat flip them with the line, light lines I'm using anyway. A little, a little smally. Okay, I just wanted to give a little demonstration of what I like to do when I go bass fishing, whether it be largemouth bass or smallmouth bass. I like to fish really fast. I like to start off power fishing, as I like to call it. Throwing crank baits, jerk baits, spinner baits, and just really ripping them through an area. And what this does is it seems to really activate the feeding response in a bass. And you'll catch those aggressive ones, the ones that are ready to eat. They'll smack it and they'll smack it hard. But what it'll also do is it'll just get them thinking about eating. And a lot of times they'll follow it into the boat. Smallmouth are notorious for this. They really like to follow the baits in. 
especially in the clear water, you can see them following it and they won't hit it, but at least it gets them going. So I like to start off with that. I like to use crankbaits and I like to use the Rapala. This is the fat wrap. I like to use the DT as well. Other crankbaits will work well too. You fish these, you know, 10, 15 feet, crank them fast. Like I said, you'll catch some fish, the active fish, but other times they'll at least know that there's food in the area. Uh, if, if you're fishing shallower, I like to go with a jerk bait or slash bait. This happens to be the X wrap by Rapala. Uh, others work well too, like the Rattle and Rogue from Smithwick. But again, it's just ripping it through their territory. They're territorial, they're chasing them down. They might not be in the feeding mood, but they'll at least show themselves. So you do that and then go back through that area and slow it down. And what I like to do is throw a couple different baits for that. One being the drop shot rig. And this happens to be a Senko, a small Senko, a three inch Senko. And this has really good movement in the water, especially when you, when you wacky style it, rig it like this. And that'll get some bites, but you know my go-to bait from watching my videos. And that happens to be three and a half inch gets it tube jig. And this thing is deadly. Okay, this looks just like a crayfish in the water. If you've ever seen a crayfish in the water, I used to catch crayfish when I was little and loved doing it. And we'd put a net behind them and we'd point our finger at the claws and poof, and they'd shoot up off the bottom right into the net. Well, when you jig this bait, it looks just like that, just like a crayfish trying to get away from a predator. And it's deadly tactic. It's also soft and the fish will hang on to this for a long time. Even if they get stuck with the hook a little bit, it feels like the claw from a crayfish and they won't spit it out. So that works really well. I like to use light lines also. You'll notice that in my videos, especially with like the drop shot rig or the tube jig, I'm six to eight pound test. Even put some fluorocarbon on it because these waters are clear, especially in Northern Michigan. Those fish are spooky. So that's what I like to do. I like to power fish, fish fast, try and get these fish going, get them in the mood. That's the key, get them in the mood. Even if you're not catching them, you're getting them thinking about eating. Then go back to the area, especially if you were raising some fish or if you just know they're there, throw the slow stuff and you'll catch more fish. But I'm not gonna get down there with this. Let's try the tube right here real quick. I have not had a hit on the tube jig. It's really strange. There's a fish. There we go. <laughs> I threw that tube jig down in there. I could see black out there. I think it's either a tree or a big weed bed. This might be a good fish, guys. This might be a good fish. I got him on that lighter tackle. He is a good one. Oh, you know, that's a largemouth. about that, huh? <laughs> right. All right. Oh, jeez. That's a chunk of a largemouth, guys. All right. That is what I'm talking about. And of course, the jig comes right out, or the tube. That is a good largemouth. You can't beat this any day. Look at that, huh? Nice largemouth bass right there. Really nice one. You know, I'm throwing this fat wrap. I'm really power fishing it. It's warm water, it's 79 degrees. I got a couple strikes, caught a nice small mouth on it. Saw a big tree out here in the water. The water's so clear, I can see black out there. It's probably a big tree or a weed bed. Flipped the tube jig out there on the drop. Nice largemouth. That's a chunky 18 inch largemouth right there. Three and a half pounds. Yeah. Hey 
That's it for me. It's getting dark. Got some nice fish tonight. Just a couple of hours to do it. Had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on Fishitis.